Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Simons. I'll be presenting you today Beneath the pH Surface, an information session about ocean acidification. Some background on what I'm going to be teaching you. In our planet, there is a threat slowly surfacing in our waters. It is known as ocean acidification, a very dangerous threat to life. In this session, I'll be teaching you more about it. What is ocean acidification? Ocean acidification is the process of the ocean's pH level being reduced towards a more acidic level from its standard 8.1 pH of seawater. This leads to then environmental harm on our oceans. As you can see here, we have coral reefs being bleached due to acidification. So what is the cause for ocean acidification? Well, the leading cause is the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation of our environments that lead to increased CO2 levels in our atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is then trapped into our waters and mixed with water to create carbonic acid that is finally turned into bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions that slowly weighs up the ocean's acid levels towards more acidic levels. As you can see here, this is the carbon cycle. I have an equation here that can show you, that can tell you more about how it works in an equation format. The balance equation for ocean acidification is carbon dioxide mixing with water to yield carbonic acid. If you're given the K of A and the concentration of CO2, from there you can find the pH value. From here you want to set up an ice table to store everything, to set everything up for the equation. The first equation set up will be K of B, which will be the K of W over the K of A. From here we'll get our K of B value as 1.235 times 10 to the negative 13. Next step is that we plug it into our equation to find X, which is X equals the square root of 1.235 times 10 to the negative 13 times the concentration of carbon dioxide. This will finally lead us with 1.1111 times 10 to the negative 7 for our x value. With our PO of h, we'll plug that value in that we have for x with the minus log. This will give us 6.954. And the final step is to find a pH, which is 14 minus 6.954 to find our value to be 7.046. Going back to the information, the effects of ocean acidification are very severe. Maritime life that often relies on calcifying, such as oysters, plankton, and coal, will have a harder time developing their shells and skeletons due to the chemical change, stunting their growth. There will also be lowered available food sources due to maritime life not being able to adapt lean to lower populations across the food chain, from the producer to the consumer. Third is that there will be mass erosion on, our, on coastal environments from reefs to shorelines that will reduce the number of habitable areas for not just us, but maritime life. It can lead to very costly damages. As you can see here, this is taken from a professionally done experiment involving oysters. These oysters were grown in different pH values in tanks. As larva, as the pH levels are lowered, the growth is just very slightly reduced. But as juveniles, this becomes much more severe based on the environment they've been grown in, as their growth rate is very much stunted for their shells. As you can see, that can be very difficult for oysters to deal with and they can infect a multiple of other animals. How do we solve this? The leading ways to reduce our CO2 emissions and reducing our own carbon footprint. This can be in multitude of ways from policies to using less energy and keeping in just our community clean. A clean community is a healthy community and that is one that we share with with animals, and as us to take care of that planet that we live on, 
so that we can all be healthy together, so that we can continue to survive on our planet Earth. We have projects that are happening across humanity, as known as the Ocean Cleanup Project. The Ocean Cleanup Project is a project that is focused on cleaning our oceans and lakes and rivers from the amount of pollution and trash buildup that it constantly faces. This is a bulge from a ship that is dealing with the trash cleanups. In summary, ocean acidification is a process that is very dangerous to us as carbon dioxide is when it goes into the gas, into our oceans, and increases the acidic levels of our oceans, leading to mass environmental harm. And it's our job to reduce that and to hopefully one day stop it so that we can continue to be living healthily among us and our partners in the ocean. Here is my research sources that I've used, and here are my other use sources for images and outside information. Thank you.